Hey friends and welcome to my 2019 Christmas home tour. I am so sorry it took me so long to get this uploaded, but things have just been so hectic around the holidays I haven't been able to post as many videos that I hoped, but I did manage to get this in-depth home tour filmed for you and I didn't realize how long it was until I started editing, but I hope you guys enjoy and I hope each and every one of you has a very Merry Christmas. So come on in, grab a cozy blanket and a cup of hot cocoa, and let's get started. So welcome to our home. This is the view that you see whenever you walk into our front door. Um, this is our living room, and it is more, I guess, a formal living room, which we use it all the time. But um, downstairs is our family room with the tree that we open our presents under. It's more fun. And up here is just a little more um, pretty, I guess. Um, and I do have a video um, where I decorated this tree, and it is a new tree this year. My other one got ruined, so I got that tree at Walmart, and I cannot tell you how amazing it was. I was kind of upset that um, the tree was ruined, and I had to quickly go look for a tree. It was 10 p.m. I mean, I didn't have to, but I really wanted to. I had, like, my heart set on decorating, starting to decorate that night, so it was late, and Walmart was the only place open, and they had this tree, and it's um, seven and a half foot flock tree, and it is so beautiful and amazing. And it is fluffed up so well. I see a lot of people start decorating their trees without really fluffing their branches. And that is one of the most important things that you need to remember when decorating your Christmas tree. It's been in a box or storage or wherever. You need to fluff those branches. Every single branch needs fluffed. So you're going to pull every single thing apart and fluff it out. And it takes a while and it hurts your hands, but it's got to be done. Um, but this tree says it has like memory wire or something and it just it says no need for fluffing and I actually I did not fluff this tree. I got it out of the box and I put it together and it was just automatically fluffed. Now I don't know what it's going to be like since I just bought it like after I store it. Is it really going to be fluffed out again next year? I don't know but I thought it was pretty amazing so I'm super happy with that tree. But before I go into great detail, um, I'll show you this area right here. Um, I have this vase that I moved here, um, and I left these um, grasses in them, in the vase. Uh, I don't know. I just think they're pretty, and I didn't want to get rid of them. I got them during fall time, and I still think they work well. Um, the vase is a marbleized vase from Pier 1, and this credenza is from Wayfair, and I just use it to store, like, some board games and some just school papers and mail and stuff, just random stuff that I don't want sitting around, I stick in there. And I still have my um, bust here that I got at an antique store, I just love her so much, and I've got some old vintage books you want to take a closer look I just love vintage books so much and they're just I don't know I have so many of them so I just like to stack them here and there um, I have these bottle brush trees that I got at Walmart and I think they were oh my gosh they were four dollars a piece so that was a pretty good deal and I have this candle's still here in this carved wood bowl. I like it a lot. Um, this lamp, which I don't even turn on very often. It does have a, a bulb in it, but it is just so cute. I just love um, the crystals and just the way it's shaped. It's really pretty. And I got that at Pier 1. And also at Pier 1, I got this canvas. I thought it would be perfect for Christmas because it just has 
I don't know, the other one had some color in it that I had up here, and this one is just white, like birch trees with a touch of gold, and since the tree is done in gold, I just think it's the perfect accent to be hanging right next to the tree, which I am so in love with this tree this year. I did everything completely different than I did last year, and to tell you the truth, I just um, don't really, didn't really care for the tree that I had before, and I didn't realize that until I got a new one. So, um, also, I will try and link everything that I can that I'm showing in the video in the description box below, so if you're interested in an item, check down there, and you could possibly find where I got it from. Um, I did get this big mirror from, where did I get it, Wayfair, Jocelyn, Maine, one of those places, but it just looks so beautiful by the tree, and I have these, um, this like set of faux birch candles that light up down here, and they're on a timer, so they just um, go off and on in the evening, and I got those at Pier 1. Um, down here is the tree collar, and it's actually only half of a collar. Um, the other half is in front of my tree downstairs. I cannot find a tree, a tree collar big enough for the base of my tree downstairs. It is so big, so this is just what I did. You can't really tell that there's only half there, and it's just galvanized with a little bit of gold to it, and I'm not even quite sure where I got it. Possibly Walmart last year, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I have white and gold mainly on the tree, and this gold garland I fell in love with. It is from Wayfair, and I have two of them on the tree. There's one up there, and I have a gold wreath hanging in here to match. Um, the picks, and all the picks and flowers, and I probably want to say all of the ornaments, everything else on the tree came from Hobby Lobby. So these ornaments, these Santa ornaments I had last year. Um, and all these picks came from Hobby Lobby. The flowers, the poinsettias, um, on all the branches that I used for the tree topper. Oh, actually, nope, these clear glass ones were in a pack of ornaments that I got at Target and there's only a few of those on here. And then I have um, my chair that I'm so in love with sitting here and it's just so cozy to sit in this chair and I sit in this chair every day. I love curling up in this chair and just being right by the tree. It just feels like Santa's chair. <laughs> Um, the chair um, I got at Joss and Maine, and again, that will link be down below. Um, this throw is amazing, and it is from Pottery Barn, and I just recently got that, and it is just so pretty and cozy, and I love it so much. Now, this is what I've done to the fireplace area. Um, I left my big clock up there, and that is from Antique Farmhouse, as well as the Corbell sconces that I have hanging on each side, and um, they're, hang they're mounted on um, an old shutter that I found like at a garage sale. They're just old, chippy vintage shutters, and I just like old architectural pieces. They just give, I don't know, they're just fun to decorate with. And um, the stockings are from Crate and Barrel. They are my absolute favorite stockings that I've ever had. I just got them this year, and I what I love so much about them, I mean, not only are they this beautiful, chunky knit wool, um, they're just really long. I think they're 27 inches maybe, but that is what made me fall in love with them because they're just extra big. And then I tied... Um, some like champagne gold ribbon around each stocking and I've got this garland here it's got um, some little white berries and some eucalyptus in it and I got that at Hobby Lobby and I just strung um, a set of twinkle lights through it and then I've got some antique candlesticks burning um, with some little white trees that I got at Hobby Lobby 
and little white houses that I've had for several years that I got um, at the Target dollar spot, which usually I have little tea lights in them, but I forgot to turn those on. That makes it look so cute. Okay, I should have uh, snapped for you because I have the tea lights on and the houses are set up and they are just so cute. I love the warm glow. Whenever I'm decorating, I always go for the warm Christmas lights. Um, in my house, I believe most of our lights are the cool or the bright in our um, light fixtures, but as for Christmas lights, I love the warm yellowy tone. We have lights on our house outside, and I don't even buy the LED lights outside. I just like the classic warm lights. They're just so cozy. The yellow. Um, this tree I love so much. I got it um, from Amazon, I do believe, and it is a gold glittery tree. Look at that. Can you see the glitter? Here's a look at our bedroom decorated for Christmas. When you first walk in, I have this rose gold um, tinsel tree that I got at Walmart. And then on the dresser, I have some candlesticks and this birch candle holder. And this, um, this is also an older birch candle holder where the glass broke around it. Um, and sometimes I put a candle in there, but I put some gold glass ornaments in there. And I also had my husband hang this mirror up above our dresser. And that way to the right is our bathroom and then to the left is our closet neither of which is suitable to be filmed right now but I did order this dresser from Wayfair which I opened in one of my videos and it's really nice I also got these mirrored nightstands from Wayfair and they're super pretty I just changed out the knobs to a crystally knob. I think they were silver ones that came with it. This is my husband's nightstand and I have a spiced gingerbread candle from Bath and Body Works burning. Oh and I think in one of my last videos I was talking about something that I got in the mail and it, you would, it was like a surprise and I think I put it on Instagram but it is that bed crown that Antique Farmhouse sent me. And actually whenever I got it, it was like a dark kind of oil rub bronze color. And I recently spray painted it a muted gold color and I just think it's so pretty like that. I have this garland on the back of our bed and I got that at Big Lots and I just put some twinkle lights in it. And I just like how it is um, flocked and it has pine cones and some silver ornaments and it just looks so pretty and then over here I've got these flowers in this basket on the wall which I recently put in there and this is my nightstand um, and I have a spiced apple toddy candle from Bath and Body Works burning and I've got my Christmas cookies lotion from Bath and Body Works that I have been putting on at night. And then I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos before, you've seen this um, wall saying that says today is a good day for a good day. And I just bought letters in a craft apartment and painted them white. And stuck them up there with three M strips. I've been thinking about um, taking it down, but I'm not sure what I would want to put up there. And outside is our um, hugging teddy bear. Um, my bedding is from Antique Farmhouse. The three this snowflake pillow is from TJ Maxx. The three pillows in the front are from IKEA. And the three big pillows in the back are from Target. 
and the bedding I think I just said that is from antique farmhouse and I just love this um, super thick cable knit throw with um, the pom-pom balls it is like super heavy and that is from anthropology and the rug I believe is from Wayfair now I've got a fireplace with our TV on it over here and also have this mirror which I would like to have a bigger mirror here um, but that's the one that we have here now and then on the fireplace we have our TV above it I think it's like a 60 inch TV and you can see me in the mirror I'm probably gonna have different clothes on um, in this video because uh, I'm filming it on different days but this is our fireplace and it's an electric fireplace it puts off heat and it's just so cute and cozy I just love to lay on my bed and watch this fireplace it is so pretty and we got that at Big Lots it's just so cute and then where did I get that garland that garland actually I was thinking about getting two of the garlands from Big Lots but they only had one so I found this one at Target and then I put twinkle lights in them and those trees I'm not even sure if I like those there but I had them left over from when I was decorating and instead of putting them back in storage I just set them up there and so that's where they are and I have one random stocking hanging and I'll show you I just got it yesterday actually when I was shopping at Victoria's Secret I got it free with purchase and I thought it was so adorable I'm like what am um, as an adult what am I gonna do with this pink stocking but I just hung it there maybe I need another one or I should hang some other stockings but I wanted to look at it so I put it there I also just got this adorable house from Pier 1 I just love how it is pink and since I did a pink theme tree in our bedroom this year, I decided that I had to have this house to put it with it. They have so many cute houses. I just like how everything is snowy and it has all the bottle brush trees and it lights up. And then this is the tree that I have in here. It's just a cute little white tree that I got at Walmart. I bought these ornaments at Target and they were in a pack and they just had like the pink theme going on so and then I actually ooh, that's still got the price tag on it but I got this um, ornament yesterday at Pier 1 and it's pink and I don't think you can see the color it looks a lot darker in this camera but it's it's just a cute little pink mixer and that's actually um, something that's on my Christmas list this year which I don't think I'm gonna get but I uh, have a mixer picked out that I want to get so I thought that was a cute ornament and underneath the tree I have these cute little pink boxes that I found at TJ Maxx and I just thought they were so fitting because I put this um, this blanket I just wrapped it underneath it to hide the base and I thought, I don't know, it just looked kind of boring. So I was at TJ Maxx one day and I, I saw these boxes and I thought they were perfect. And actually on the box, on the boxes was this guy. And he's just a cute little gnome with a pink hat. And I thought he was so cute. And then I went back to get a third box because I only bought two initially. And when I went back, I saw this cute little like fairy. This is all probably for like... I don't know a little girls room or something but and then I have this tray just casually placed here on the bed with a good book and a cup of and a cup of nothing but we can pretend it's a uh, coffee but look how cute the mug is I just want mugs everywhere because there's so many cute mugs and then as we head out you can see my closet which I'm not gonna go into because it is very disorganized and quite messy despite what you can see everything is just pushed that way where my vanity is 
Um, and I did see a pink Christmas tree and I went back to get it and it was sold out. And if they would have had it, I would have put it right there in my closet. But that is that. Okay, I will give you a view from this side of the room. I've got my rug that I ordered from Wayfair. Oh my gosh, everything in here is from Wayfair. I just love Wayfair so much. I'm not sponsored, but I don't know. It's just so easy to order from there. You order it and it's usually a pretty quick delivery and they deliver it inside your home for free. So I don't know. I order a lot of stuff from there. Um, that's why my coffee table is from there and my couches are also from Wayfair and the rug and the credenza and the chair. Okay, I got a problem. But, um, on the coffee table, I kind of left it the same. Um, I've got this wooden tray here, and I've got my antique or vintage, actually, I guess it would be antique dictionary. It is, um, a hundred year old dictionary, and I don't know, like I said, I love old books. So look at the pages. Look how they're colored. I don't know. I just think that is beautiful. And then I have this um, rosary beads and they're clay. So I mean these are really heavy beads and those are from Antique Farmhouse. They're so beautiful. Um, I have this candelabra that I picked up at an antique store with my short, I love the short stubby candles, so, or actually I think they're just normal size, or they're just normal width, but they're just short. I always buy the short ones. Um, and then I got this base at, let me straighten it up. I got this um, base here at um, like a picking antique show and it's just a chippy base probably from like an old um, column or something like that like a big post and I put and actually this is the um, thing that the price was on it if you've ever been to like antique shows they always have like little burlap or some kind of price tag and I haven't even cut that off and I've had it for quite a while but I put some ornaments in there and made like a little cloche stand with it and then that's another um, chippy post that I have this big candle on. Um, and I also got that from an antique show. And then on my, pill on my couch I just have these sparkly snowflake pillows that I got at TJ Maxx I believe last year. And then I just have these, they're like a creamy, um, look like a leopard or animal print on these pillows. I have this pillow here that I got this year from Target. I think it is um, from Opal House and it is just so pretty because it's velvet. And I just love that green color. And I believe this is an Opal House blanket too. It's got some... Uh, some sequins in it for a little sparkle. Very holiday-ish with the sparkle, but I probably have that blanket out all the time. Um, oh, and then uh, there's where the wreath is that matches the garland that's on my tree. And I ordered that from Wayfair and it's just so pretty. And this cabinet is um, an antique cabinet that I got at a vintage market and up here I just have some vintage candlesticks um, and a glass tree and this let me move around here and this Santa with a polar bear and he's just like so beautiful and now this is our dining room and 
I finally got a new rug. I've probably said in a million videos that I want a new rug for this space and I just couldn't find one. And I just went out on a limb with this rug and thought, I have no idea what this is going to look like. And I was so scared when I got it because I just didn't know how these two rugs would look together. But I think when you're in the room and you're feeling it, it just it works. And um, it kind of reminds me, it's just like, I don't really know. <laughs> just a gray and tan, uh, creamy color, but it kind of reminds me of birch. And... Uh, I just kind of had a birch theme in mind for this table for Christmas. Um, I didn't really get anything birch related except these little candle things up here. But this rug, um, I don't know. I think it's pretty and it works well in here. Um, and it's just more of a calmer vibe than the other one that had the big patterns all over it. Um, if you'll notice, I changed the wall decor in here. If you've seen any of my previous videos, um... I had these mirrors, I'll walk over here for a second, I had these mirrors um, on this wall and they were in a collage over there and I moved them and hung this picture up. See I just have to move everything around whenever I'm decorating. This picture um, was above the bench downstairs and whenever I put the tree up which is red and silver. And this hanging right next to it, it just wasn't working for me. So I brought it up here and I just love this painting so much. So I brought it up here and hung it by the dining room table and I'm liking it. And then here's a view from the dining room table. Let me scoot back some. A view from the dining room table into the living room area. And everything kind of just flows together. There's just... Um, very neutral with gold accents everywhere for Christmas. Um, I am just loving the gold though, let me tell you. But um, I hung these up here above this mantle um, and I'm really loving them up there. I've had those for several years. And here is some random thing that I bought at an antique store. I'm not sure what it is but I like to stick little goodies in it and I've actually um I, I just get tired of things and I'm like how long should this stay here and I tried to move it out and then it just looks so bare in the corner I'm a kind of person that I just want little things in corners I don't like bare corners I want them filled up um so um I have just a random picture that I got from hearth and hand collection at Target and it's so beautiful but I just couldn't find any place to put it so I just stuck it in there um, there's a little Christmas tree uh, cutting board some random white dishes I have this little egg holder and it is from hearth and hand as well and this uh, tea towel which it has flocking all over it that's not dust <laughs> it is flocking from the garland. Gosh, that stuff is terrible. Anyway, it's so pretty though. <clears throat> this uh, tea towel, and I've mentioned it before, my sister made it, and from a recipe that my great grandma, who's passed away, I want to say, I don't know, it's been a long time, like eight or nine years ago, maybe longer than that, but. Um, she wrote this recipe and I rec I like remember her handwriting and I don't know I just love that this recipe is in her handwriting and I have it on a towel it is so beautiful um just have some more like a cutting board and um what do you want to call that a rolling pin I have so many rolling pins but I think I brought them all to my storage unit and then I just had this random flock garland, and to tell you the truth, I don't remember where I had that last year, but I just stuffed it in there and draped some beads across it to let make it look a little festive. And I'd forgot I forgot to turn the lights on here a minute ago. It's so hard to remember to turn everything on. But um, this is an antique um, what do you call it? a mantle piece? that I got at an antique store and we 
made a big trip out of it because it, I saw it on Facebook. They posted it and I was so in love with it. Like I said, I love architectural salvage and I had no idea where I was going to put it when I got it, but we screwed it into the wall and I don't know. I just, I love it there and I've got some, I love this garland hanging from it. I don't even know where I got it from, but it's just so, um, what? I just don't know. It just kind of looks vintage just got that vibe to it you know but it's got some little pine cones in it and I just put the um, twinkle lights and then again with the bells hanging there and then this is an antique tobacco basket that I got at an antique store um, also from an antique store is another one of these crocs um, a 12 gallon crock that I have here in the corner and then I've got a dough bowl inside of it and this giant, I don't even know what it is, an ornament um, and some greenery. And then I have this um, vintage breadboard up here on the wall with a flocked wreath hanging up there and then I just put a little white ribbon bow on it. So I have the table set and I... Um, ordered some napkin rings I don't know it seems like forever ago but I guess it was last week but I don't know they're taking forever to get here but I'm kind of liking the napkins just underneath this plate and now I'm just wondering if I shouldn't have ordered the napkin rings um, honestly I ordered them from Pottery, Pottery Barn and I'm thinking that I probably could have made them myself for way cheaper but um they should be here actually they might be arriving today but um, I have these white placemats with uh, little sequins on them from Hobby Lobby and most of the stuff is from Hobby Lobby and Pier 1 um, I got these birch candle holders from Walmart I would have just loved if I mean the cutouts are nice but I would have loved if they would have been just solid birch but um, they're nice uh, construction I guess from the ones that I've seen actually I was going to order one from our house and then they went on major sale and I don't know I just procrastinated and never ordered them so they're gone now but I have these that I got from Walmart um, they're better homes and gardens and then I just have an antique brass tea set setting there just for pretty just because it um, all ties in with the um, brassy gold theme in here so this wall we um, just built this little shiplap feature and hung these herb boxes that I got from decor steels and then I just have some little pretties in there let's move on into the kitchen I've got a very neutral vibe going on in here um, I just have these mercury glass looking trees on the island on this um, big wooden cutting board and then I have this cute Christmas towel hanging on the oven that says milk and cookies served nightly through Christmas and I think I may have ordered that from Etsy um, just some little platters and stuff I have a Christmas tree platter in there Christmas candle burning um, the fruit dish that I got or fruit bowl that I got from uh, Crate and Barrel the marble one uh, I filled it with these bells little Christmas jingle bells from Target they're like a filler bowl filler thing um, I swapped out my soap dispenser for a merry Christmas one and I'm using um, my Mrs. Myers snowdrop scent dish soap and I love that scent so much and then I have this Christmassy wreath hanging up here above the sink and it is just white and glittery um, 
And then right now I have some Christmas towels that I got at Walmart. And it says, I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies, which I think is so cute. I'm obsessed with tea towels, especially Christmas and holiday ones. Um, I have this really huge mug rack, and I've had it for a long time. And I've never really found a use for it. Like, it just never looked right, so I spray painted it this muted gold color. And now it goes really well. And I have... Um, my white Santa mugs that I got from Walmart hanging on them. I just wish that it didn't have this writing on the bottom. That really bugs me. I guess I'm OCD <laughs> for that to bug me. And maybe it wouldn't bug some people, but I don't know. Maybe I should paint over it. Um, I have this wax warmer, and I've got some, like, Fraser Fur wax in it. And I got this wax warmer from the Dollar General Store, and it is so cute. It looks like a little... Um, a sweater, and then I have this little cookie company sign that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year, and then um, this is a soup tureen, and I just put some greens in it to make it more festive, and I have it on a marble stand on the marble countertop, that's why I don't know, but I do, um, and then I just have some pretty wine glasses out really for no particular reason I have um, let's see I have wine glasses and stuff up here but these don't fit in this cabinet unless I adjust the shelf we are gonna have some shelves built um, for the next room that I'm getting ready to show you um, but I guess I'll show you inside my cabinets because I just like that they're all white and pretty, and the, those are just the dishes that we use. But um, we're going to have some shelves built in the butler's pantry, and I'm going to have like one of those crisscrossy things for wine, and we're going to, I guess, put the bigger glasses in there. Um, just my beautiful toaster. And then I got this letter board from Walmart, and it is so cute. I love that it's green. Like, I'm just loving this green. And this was what was on the front of it, like the example thing. And it says, if you binge eat, well, you can read. If you binge eat Christmas cookies while you binge watch Christmas movies, they cancel each other out. It's science. It's just so funny. I think it's cute. Um, and then in the corner, just got the Keurig. And a little Christmas tree. And this super adorable coffee mug. My favorite coffee mug of the year. Um... Then the dining room is through there and back to the living room. And I hung this Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas sign here. And then I have this that's always been hanging here and it's kind of crooked and I need to fix it. And Ace's dog food is down there. And right in here is the puppy's room, which I'll clean up for you because they've destroyed some toys in the floor. Buddy and Little Bear. Buddy! Hi! Hi! Have you guys made a mess? So this is the room they stay in whenever <laughs> whenever we can't like keep an eye on them because they're still a little naughty. They can't just have free roam of the house just yet. So Okay, this is our butler's pantry slash laundry room slash the dog's room um, we have a gate here and a gate there so whenever we are not home or while we're sleeping and stuff we have to put the little dogs in here because they can't be trusted running free in the house our big dog our German Shepherd he's 11 years old he can um, go anywhere at any time because he's very trustworthy. But these two are still young and mischievous. And, uh, yeah, they've chewed on the corner of the wall down there. And they had chewed on this cabinet. And we just now got this cabinet installed. So I have not showed this probably ever. Um,. The cabinet they chewed on when they were younger, so hopefully they're not they're done chewing on stuff like that. 
Um, so we had our cabinet maker build this um, so that we could fit our drink fridge in there. And then our microwave, which was above our stove. It, um, it is hanging there and um, my husband's gonna have our cabinet maker make two shelves, one on each side for um, like wine glasses and wine bottles. I want one to have like the crisscross pattern and it's gonna go from the bottom of the microwave up to the top so we could put wine bottles and then another one for wine glasses. And um, this is our sink from uh, the Ikea haul back, oh my gosh, in June. So I'm so excited to finally have this sink installed and I can't wait to use it. And as you can see, um, if you, or can you guess why I can't use it? If you haven't realized yet, there's no faucet. <laughs> um, well, we have a faucet that we had in the kitchen before and I figured that we should just use that one um because we've got kind of a small fit here so i don't want to have something too crazy and i do have some faucets in mind but i figured in the time being we should just use that faucet and we can't find like a part to it so my husband's actually at the store right now looking for this nut to um, install so he'll drill a hole in the countertops he installed these countertops they are quartz and since this is the dog's room um, I thought it was fitting. I got one of these, uh, another one of these boards. Actually, my husband got this because when I was writing the stuff on the other board in the kitchen, I ran out of letters. And there's a little piece of something white in there, and that's bugging buggy me, but I can't get it out. Um, it it's I ran out of letters, and I was like, "What? They like, advertise that saying on the front of it, and they don't even give you enough letters to complete it." So I sent him to Walmart, which is where I bought these at, to get some more letters, and they didn't have any letters, so he had to buy a whole other one. Like, and he got a small one. So I put "Merry Christmas, you filthy animal," because I'm sure you all know that's a quote from uh, Home Alone, or actually, um, it's "Keep the change, you filthy animal," but whatever. Um, you see this quote everywhere and I just thought it was so cute so I put it in here with the dog stuff and then I have some Ray Dunn canisters that has their treats in it and we have our drink fridge down there and then this um, is an old pie safe cabinet that I got at an antique store and it was downstairs in that corner and this is such an awkward space because we have a door here that goes to like our furnace and our hot water heater. So um, I put this cabinet here and I put all of my Santa mug collection in there. And then I have some garland at the top. Um, and all of my Santa mugs. I just love them. Some of them are vintage. Um, some of them are from Pottery Barn. Oh, and these cute vintage Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus salt and pepper shakers. So cute. Oh, and some pictures as well. And then here we have our washer and dryer and then the cabinets above it where I store like our laundry detergent and everything and our trash can goes in here hello buddy and this is buddy our Boston and that is little bear our Pomeranian say hi little bear say hi <laughs> now directly down here is our family room and this is our main living area that we like all hang out in we watch tv down here um we don't have a tv in the living room so we have these stairs so these are the stairs that lead down in here and um we did this i guess it's like a chevron pattern on them out of um the shiplap material and I just think it looks really cool. My husband built them. And Buddy's just getting all cozy. He loves 
to be cozy. Are you cozy, buddy? Are you cozy? Give the camera a kiss. Kissy face. Mwah. Watch, he has a kissy face. Mwah. Mwah. Don't do it. Mwah. Oh, there it is. There's Buddy's kissy face. This is your kissy face. There's your kissy face. So down here, I have a more bright and colorful theme. As you can tell, I've got some little trees and this pretty snowy church that I bought at the antique store. And also it's gotten dark because it just takes a lot to get everything ready. And I had to get the kids from school and come back. So it's already dark, but it gets dark so early anyway. And I just love this Santa on the rocking horse. He's so cute. And then we have this fireplace. It's an electric fireplace. Um, I thought about putting a gas one down here, but I changed my mind at the last minute. Cause, but now I kind of wish I would have went with the gas. But we did um, wire it for gas, so or wire it. I don't think that's right. We, I don't know. There's a gas hookup in there, so we can put a gas fireplace in there if we want to. Um, these are our stockings, and I didn't really know what to put on the mantle, so I put my um, red and green book collection up there. I just love these. They're old vintage books, and I just look for books that are red and green. That's all there is to it. Just go to thrift stores and look for old red and green books. And these are um, old vintage or antique Corbels. They're probably like 100 years old. Um, our beam here, which you can barely see because of all the garland, is um, 100 year old. I think, I'm not sure what that's called. Some sort of wood. I'm, I'm, I forgot what it's called. But um, these Corbels we put underneath there. We just mounted them to the wall. Um, and then I have this Santa over here. And he is a vintage blow mold Santa that I got at the antique store. And I got this this year at Kirkland's. I love this so much. The Twas the Night Before Christmas book page. And then I have this super cute Santa pillow that I got from PJ Maxx. And then I have a new rug down here. You guys haven't seen this yet. It's the same rug that I have upstairs in the living room because I could not find a rug. So I thought, you know what, this one works. It was a great deal. Um, so that's what is going to be down here for the time being. And I think it looks great. And Buddy's just cozy on the couch. Buddy is feeling feisty right now. He keeps trying to run around and wrestle. But um, I lit my candles because I always like to have candles burning whenever I am doing a home tour. And I just got this um, candelabra at Home Goods, and I think it is so pretty. Um, I moved this planter over here, and I had a fiddle leaf fig in it, and I put this flocked tree from Target in it. And the tree actually comes in this cute little basket. But I just set it down in there, and it looks really cute. And this is an old shutter shelf that I got at a vintage market. And I didn't change anything in here this season, just the same, same old stuff. And then we have my bench that I got from a vintage market. It's made from repurposed doors. And I love to decorate this bench for the holidays. We don't really sit on it. Actually, um, when I bought it, it was meant to be a porch swing and it had like chains coming off of it. But my husband put these legs on the bottom so now it made a cute bench and it has these corbels on it which are so pretty. And then I 
moved this picture back down here. It is um, the music, sheet music to Amazing Grace, which I got at Kirkland's last year. And I just thought it was a better fit with the tree, that painting that's upstairs that has like the lighter colors in it. It just does not go with the tree. Um, on the bench, I have the Oh What Fun banner that's from Pottery Barn. And then I have some cute pillows. And I'm not sure where I got that pillow from. Just have some nutcrackers I just got this year. I don't know. I've just started loving nutcrackers and elves all of a sudden. Uh, so this one I found at Goodwill. And then that one is from Target. And this is a Letters to Santa. It's a metal, it's a metal mailbox from uh, Joanna Gaines Hearth and Hand line at Target. And then my beautiful baby, my rocking horse, I just love so much. You probably, if you've watched my decorate the tree down here video, you saw this horse and me riding it. It's so big. I love it so much. I got it at um, an antique store. I have a train um, that goes around our tree, but you can't see it now because I've already started to put the presents around the tree, which I've, uh, oh, little bear. Look how cute you look. Look how cute. I wish you would have stayed there. Um, you say one nice thing to them. They just come running, but uh, I've already started to put presents under the tree and I have to get some more bows because I've been using these big bows and I ran out. So I've got some little bows on the packages. Um, I don't know. I ran out of ribbon too, but um, right now I'm doing just... The colors of the tree are red. Oh my god, the dogs are fighting on me. Hey, hey. See what I mean about him feeling honored? Little bear. Stop. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, so the tree I have um, silver, white, and red on the tree. And I did the paper in the same. It's silver, white, and red. And then this paper is so pretty. I love it so much and then this is my sleigh that I got from the antique store and then our teddy bear he's um, piled up with gifts right now and he has that cute elf hat on and that's actually a tree topper that I got at Walmart but I thought it was adorable and then that's where I hung the artwork that I got from Pottery Barn a while back Oh, I forgot to show you this adorable Santa that I got at the antique store. I think it was, um, it's just so pretty. Okay, and I also did another video where I decorated this tree, um, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. But um, I thought I would give you a closer view of some of the ornaments. It's a Santa themed tree. So I have all these Santa ornaments. And now I'm kind of wishing. Oh, I have a new ornament that I haven't put on here yet. I'll have to go get it. But um, I kind of want an elf tree now. Now that I have a Santa tree. I have a great, um, I don't know. I have a great idea for an elf tree. But I did do two trees in the boys room. And they are elf trees. So I think I got my elf fix that way. But I still have so many more good ideas that would look great on a big tree. Oh, and fun fact. This is a pre-lit tree from Hobby Lobby. And it is nine or nine and a half feet tall. And it was not lit this year. So I had a string lights all throughout this tree. It was no fun, no fun, but it's lit and pretty, and that's all that matters. 
Okay, this year in my boys' room, I decided to do little trees, and I did the exact same tree in their room. I got them at Walmart. They were, um, I think they're just meant for decoration. Like, I don't know, even know if you're supposed to put ornaments on them. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but they kind of look like those little porch trees or something. They have a burlap sack at the bottom, which is sticking out here, and it was cute, but it just... Um, wouldn't keep the tree upright with all the stuff I piled on it so um, I just took a couple crocs that I had because um, they're so heavy and stuck it right down in there and it fit perfectly so the tree won't tip over but I just thought the elf theme was so cute so one night I just ran to Walmart and found all of this stuff these little ornaments and everything are from Walmart. I just thought they were fun and whimsical. And this cute little elf guy, I just saw him hanging there and I thought, oh my gosh, how cute. So I stuck those big lollipops in the top of the tree, kind of like for the tree topper, and um, hung the elf off because he's just kind of hanging out on there. I would love to do a really big tree with an elf theme, but I just thought this was cute for the boys' room. And I like that I put the multicolor lights on them since everywhere we have white lights. And I can't show you the rest of the room because it's kind of messy. And it just wasn't ready for this tour. So I decided just to show you the tree. And then um, that's one of his pillows, Christmas pillows. And then I just have these fun little um, Santa hats, which I have an elf hat like that. And you probably saw it downstairs, but... I only found one of those and then I found two of these Santa hats and I just thought they were fun and whimsical too. So this is the tree for the boys room and it's our first time doing a tree for them. Try to get it all in the shot. I'm not sure how tall the tree is, like four feet. And then here's the exact same tree in the other room. I did two of the exact same trees. I got the same ornaments and everything. It's the little stockings. Oh yeah, Avery has little stockings on his tree that we got at Bath and Body Works and he's Stuff them full of candy. And I think that is it down here, but this is our cozy um, TV watching room. We watch our Christmas movies down here and eat popcorn and open our presents on Christmas morning. So that um, sums up our house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I would really appreciate it if you liked this video to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.